Hi guys, so the chicken is almost, oh the chickens are almost brown, so as you can see we're just gonna put them to the side, like so. We've cooked them in canola oil and gave them a little bit of a cook or a browning to make sure that they're nice and tender and well cooked for the soup. So, it took about what, three minutes, five minutes to brown the chicken, maybe? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, with that done, we're going to start doing the next part of the soup. So, again, you know, make sure your chicken is well cooked. You know, if you like it the Filipino way, or you like it, the, you know, our way, make sure your chicken is browned so when, when it's in the um, the street pot, it gets properly cooked, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it took like, literally like five, ten minutes. Well, not even ten minutes to um, now, brown the chicken. The same pan. Yes. Put the onion. Yes. So we're just using the same pan that the chicken was in and we're literally frying the onions. And we're gonna add the garlic. The garlic. So onions and garlic goes in the same pan that the chicken was. So you don't really have to change the oil or anything like that. How good is that? How good is that? Obviously also, um, Zarina, if you're gonna cook this, don't forget your ginger. If you want to add the ginger, obviously. So, we're there, not gonna have the ginger. There is a ginger. We, we only run out of ginger this way. Okay, so traditionally this dish will have a, will have ginger. We only run out of ginger. And mom believes she can't eat ginger. So, um, that's why it's not here. So, when you cook this, um, make sure you have the ginger to have that full authentic Filipino recipe. Actually, is this a Filipino recipe? Yeah. Is this your recipe? No, no. Is this like a traditional filo recipe? Yeah. Okay. So this is another Filipino dish recipe. And then we're going to put the choco in there. And it's there. I thought you had to boil the choco first. No. Okay. So, so yeah, so the choco goes in there as soon as the... um. The onion and the garlic becomes cooked. Yeah. Or translucent. I don't know. You know what I mean, right? Like when the onion and garlic is ready, you put the chocos in there. So why are we frying them first? Mum? Okay, you have to say that in English, honey, because not many not not and not everyone can speak Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> What? Why are you frying this? To cook the chocolate and have the flavor. Okay, so we're frying this to cook the chocolate and have more flavor in the, in the vegetables, obviously. So, yes, that's what we're doing. Okay. And then, and then. the soup. Mm -hmm. uh, and what do you have there, babe, Shani? Chicken Real chicken stock. stock. Okay, so we're using chicken stock. Obviously, because it's a chicken stew, it obviously makes sense to use chicken stock. Is that just one liter? I don't know how many, how much is it? Two cups? It's two cups worth of chicken stock. So, yeah, so obviously, you know, in this household, we use packets and we, you know, we use, what do you call them, like condiments and shit. So, if you want to make your own chicken stock, do so, but in this house on, like, you know, we're just so busy being fabulous that we, we use um, box stock. Now so, put the broccoli and... That's not... Chocos? I chocos. Alright, so just, you just saw that, we literally just put the garlic, onion and chocos in the chicken stock and we're going to heat it. Let it boil. Oh, we're going to let it boil. You're not going to put the chicken in it? Not yet. Okay. Right, so we're going to let that boil. And we're going to come back once it is. See how quick this dish is? Oh my god, like, hell yeah. Filipino takeaway food so possibilities. Yummy. And it's so yummy. All right. 
okay we'll see you soon bye hey guys so the broth has boiled and what you didn't see is that we've put one cube of chicken stock wasn't it yeah and also a cup of just plain water to dilute the broth so you didn't see that but we've done that so make sure you you do that if you want to follow this recipe and we just boiled the broth and made sure that the choco is quite so or is soft you know what i mean so chocos are normally ha are hard vegetables so for this dish you would no. actually like to have the chocos yeah. all nice and soft and then obviously once that has been done like you've put the um the cube the, the the what is it the chicken cube the cup of water you put the chicken in and you do a what's that it's fish sauce fish sauce and that's kind of like what two tablespoons three tablespoons tablespoon. roughly about two tablespoons of fish sauce so to give it some saltiness i suppose so yeah so it's really a quick dish to make like if you can find the ingredients and you want a quick chicken soup, soup that's kind of like Asian Filipino style and you want something... Oh, hang on, I'm going to taste it now. Um, can you take me? You gotta hold that. Hi guys, so yeah, we're back. So I'm just going to taste the broth, but mom's going to give me a spoon. That's there. So here is the broth. Obviously, I know it's chicken stock and it's got chicken in there, but I'm only 95% vegetarian, so. Oh, yum! So you can taste the onion, the garlic, the tacos, the chicken, obviously. So it's like a nice, clean, I don't know, it's like a light, clean soup, isn't it, mom? It's like, it's, it's, a, like, soup. it's a soup. It's a clean chicken soup that's Filipino style. And it's really quick and easy to cook. So Zarina. I hope when you cook it, or when you do get to cook it, I hope it works out for you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying, you know, it's not gonna be, it's gonna turn out bad, but I hope it turns out as delicious as it does here for you. It's easy to cook. How easy, ma'am? It's easy. It's easy to cook. So... 30 minutes, look. 30 minutes. So you literally just cut the vegetables, cut the onions, cut the garlic, cut, you know, brand the chicken, shove everything in a pot, and you know there you go so we're gonna come back with some final testing we're just gonna make sure that the um the soup is well cooked can you see it isn't it gorgeous it's gorgeous okay bye hey guys so it's all done so if you can see the chicken avatada is all no. done no, actually, tenola. no, it's the, the chicken tenola. The chicken tenola is done. So, Zarina, this is for you. Oops. So, Zarina, this is for you, honey. Remember to put um ginger, ginger. If, if you want ginger as well. So, mom has actually put it all together. So, she's going to have the chicken and the chocos. And I will actually have the chocos and the broth as well. Because I'm only 95% vegetarian. So, like we said, it's a really quick dish to make. It's really easy to make. And it's literally like at a Filipino um, chicken The only soup. time is the, the preparation. The only time, yeah, the only thing that will take time is the preparation. So here's the final. Because you have to the, prepare the chicken. Yes. And then the chocos. Yes. And then the... the onion and garlic and, and ginger okay but, so but, but once that's all chopped you're saying it's quick to cook oh yeah there you go so the preparation will take a little bit more time than the cooking time but once it's done the cooking time is i mean like really quick so only 30 minutes only 30 minutes so we're gonna have a tasting test. So what do you have got there, mom? She's got her rice and she's gonna put her um, chicken tenola. And obviously I'm just gonna have the rice and choco. So, cause I'm only 95% vegetarian. So I'm fully aware that um, the broth is chicken broth as well. So remember, you. You can also use green papaya rather than chocos if you find this, if you find if you have it. 
And if you do use the charcoal, please make sure you literally take off all the green skin outside because it makes it really bitter. And the, the, the little, little. And the middle part of the charcoal. Okay. Yeah. So here's the taste test. Um, I'm so excited. I haven't had this in ages. Um, I'm going to have to have a spoon, I think, with some chocos. Okay. Are you ready, Mum? Are you going to have your... Yeah. Are you going to taste your one? Yeah. Oh my God, she's not ready yet, so don't give me time to put stuff on my spoon. Sorry that the camera just keeps moving, you guys. So, I have the rice and the chocos. And mom, what do you have? Chicken. The chicken? Chocos. Chocos and the broth. So, there you go. She's, what have you got there? Like fish, fish sauce? Yeah. Can you see the fish sauce? She, we sometimes put fish sauce with it too. So, to give it a bit more flavor. All right, I'm going to taste mine. Are you going to do yours? Yeah. All right, here we go. And, all, and also, guys, after this, after I try this, you can have a fried fish. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can have fried fish with this. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. The tacos are really soft and sweet. Mmm. And obviously, the broth is really nice. So there you go, you guys. That's what you call chicken tanola. And also our neighbor lovely. And uh, yeah, we, also, we already gave some to our neighbors as well. Um, she loves it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Asian Boy Cooks Meals. <laughs> and Asian Mom Cooks Meals. Um, yeah, see you soon, you guys. Hope you like, or if you tried the recipe, hope you like it. Bye. You will love it. Oh, you will love it? They will love it. You will love it. Okay, bye.